We're going to talk about our take on the liberal... Georgia fired. <laughs> Give him one shot and look what he does. <laughs> We're going to talk about our take on how Hollywood's been infiltrated by uh, different messaging. New, uh, Politics. Messaging. Politics, yes. Well, go. I uh, found it used to be uh, something, if it was there, a message was uh, ov not overt. It, it, it was something that you had to watch a show or watch a movie and then when you, you realized it toward the end or afterwards, it, there was a uh, hidden message they were trying to convey, but now it's totally overt. To, it's not anything uh, even tried to be hidden or tried to be... Yeah. Um, no, I agree. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's in everything. And it's a, politics is in every mm -hmm. single aspect of life. Uh, and you, and, and f sports... They yeah. kill. They kill football. For me. I didn't watch football at all last year, and or, basketball. or anything. I don't watch. Yeah. I don't watch basketball. I, I just find basketball boring now. But but football, I I've just started coming back because they're not all doing stupid shit on the field and the messaging. And I, I do they what is is it is it that these people are afraid of Twitter? Is that what it is? Are they afraid of what are they, what are they afraid of if they do nothing, or is it constant? I, I, it, constant jam it on you. I don't constant know, I think, agenda. Constant agenda. People are busy all weekdays doing whatever it is and the pressure they're under. And when they gets to the weekend, I want to sit with my boys and watch a Cleveland Browns football game. And I don't want anything in that that uh, presumes that I'm not dumb enough, not, not smart enough to understand what they're doing to me. Yeah, but and I, these but, messages. That are that we were sent. It's gotten better in the NFL, but television they, is t yeah. entertainment shows scripted. are scripted. I, I think it's very simple. <clears throat> it used to be the Brady Bunch was non-political. It appealed to the whole country, right. right or left, conservative, Republican, Democrat. Now, for some reason, everything is pro-Democrat, pro-liberal politicians. Even award and, and they, shows, and they've yeah. left. They've left half the country. In the dirt, and then and vilifies. But half but let me country. ask: do, do, do you think that do you think that they're gonna they're 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 gonna turn people? Yeah, I think yes. They I turn them off. No, no, I believe turn them turn them into Democrats. Yeah, I believe no. if they do enough descriptive shows that show conservatives are bad, and you know, uh, and, and, and liberals are good, I think they're try they're, they will maybe they're they going after the young agenda. people. That's yeah. that's schools. Yeah. Television shows. You watch, you watch uh, Nickelodeon or Disney. Oh my God! Right. It's all kinds of messaging. And my and my kid even my kid doesn't watch it anymore because it's it's to the point where it's not entertaining for her. Mm -hmm. She's daddy. They keep telling me stuff, and I'm not interested in it. You know, and 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 that to me is that to me is is it's horrible. It's just horrible. I want to be entertained, and I don't want to have to go. Oh, really. Now, well, either they're not cha in fact, not only are they not changing me, but they're making me more, con more st strengthening my convictions. But maybe I'm just an old guy. You can't, you can't change me. Mm. There's no, no, matter, no matter what you say to me, you can't. Cha Alec Baldwin's not going to, and Alec Baldwin, but he's not going to change me. But you're not. You shouldn't have to be tricked into changing. It's like you, if somebody presents. Here's, here's this. Here's yeah. this. Which Here's one the up, do you like? Right. Yeah. That's gone. Exactly. And well, even they, even they the, even the, the talk shows, every joke. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to think Jimmy Kimmel, and I did his show a bunch. I thought he was a funny guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's just man a, show was constant. great. Constant, every minute, and it's still Trump. Yeah. I I, I watch Johnny Carson, the, the old Johnny the Carson shows. I tape him sometimes. He. You never knew where he stood politically, but he made fun of the administration. He right. made fun of Republicans, Democrats. And, and, and that's why he was so popular. Now it is an agenda. They, they have a soapbox. And it wasn't mean 
what he did. It was funny. It's funny. Right, but 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 he he was an equal opportunity for everybody. Now it is only one-sided. And I even have, you know, people who who are liberal or more democrat my democrat friends actually know it's happening and a lot of them don't mind it. I, they're saying, "Well, that's okay because we're right and you guys are wrong." But, but look 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 at the Gutfeld show. The Greg Gutfeld. Yeah. He's got a late night show. He's kicking everybody's ass. Right, because and he's funny, mm -hmm. and he's making yeah. he makes and he makes fun of everybody. Yes, but that seems to be gone, and and I, I don't know how, how do, I don't even know how you get it back. I well, you know what's happened now. If you're, it's a club. Television, movies, media is all a club, and right now, like minded or hiring like minded. You know, I I. I I have Mark, friends. you're in the business of making money. You're in the business of having a successful TV show. That's the business. But see, they think they're having successful shows, and they are getting ratings on some of the shows. It's it's almost. I think I think indoctrination and liberalism is more important to them than anything. Yes, I agree. I mean, they they have a viewpoint that they want to get across. Whereas whereas even in the '80s, you know, the '80s, you couldn't tell me there there was no messages. Uh, fall guy. There was nothing about conservative or liberal. Well, you know this and, because you wrote them, so you know that yeah, that but, was not. Yeah, but what, we didn't write. We, we didn't, didn't preach anything. It was, I, it was just entertainment. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, he went after the bad guys. Uh, fall guy. Uh, the A team helped the downtrodden. Actually, the A team <laughs> helped the downtrodden that couldn't get help anywhere else. But there was <coughs> no political messaging, and we didn't want to because we wanted to do a fun show. Now I think they see an opportunity to get a always show on an the opportunity, air, and they want to just. It, in the music business, did you have that? When I was in it, not so much. Uh, uh, you know, when I, I, I felt people, what did we do, need to do to expose an artist that deserved, a, a new artist that deserved, uh, their talent deserved to be known on a wider level. Um, I think it, the messages have, have infiltrated that uh, in the last 10 years or so, but um, it, it certainly wasn't the... Um, thrust of what we were doing in in my era when I was at a record label, a, a novelty song, something that carried a, a message in it was it was considered a novelty. It was not something that was uh, mainstream, and I think now it is mainstream. It has become part of what uh, 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 an artist wants to say. And That's a, a, a label needs to let an artist do what they do, but. Uh, you know, you got to let them express themselves and say what they want, but you need to have both sides or artists, everybody express their individuality. I, and I, I don't know if that's the case anymore. I, you know, I went to a McCartney concert about, I don't know, seven, eight, nine years ago, and I love McCartney. Mm -hmm. And in the middle of the concert, he puts up a, a picture of Obama. And I'm, I went, Really? Did I have to? I'm here to hear you sing, brother. Mm -hmm. I don't want it. I'm not interested. Whatever. Forget your politics. I don't want to see that. I want to see McCartney sing his songs. You're right. I want to be entertained, and it just killed it for me. It killed it, and I thought. I I, I almost left. I almost walked out of the concert. I get it. I mean, your time is valuable, and you. People spend Still, their money right. to get entertained, and well, they don't want... Don't preach to me. Don't preach to me. But you see, right. I think they feel they have a platform, and they feel strong about their viewpoint. But people so like they're them. Saying, but they're saying, I'm going to now put my viewpoint out there because people are watching me. And whereas it didn't, you didn't do, you didn't have that until just now. But it limits your audience years. at that point. It people does. Start it, to that's turn, what I'm saying. Uh, phase you out. If you look at TV shows, 80s, 60s, nobody had, you couldn't tell what political stance anybody was in. But you know what, Because they were just good Mark, shows. I gotta tell you shows. something. Even back then, there were little digs about Republicans. Even 20, 30, 40 years ago. Yeah, you're um, probably right. I, I, yep, there were. I yeah. was watching... Uh, Wall Street, the Michael Douglas movie. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, Charlie, and Charlie Sheen's dad, Martin Sheen, walks into Charlie's new apartment and goes, oh, it looks like a Republican lives here. And I thought, God damn it. We, we, I guess Republicans is, has always been, been a the joke. bad guy. And I don't, yeah, I, I guess you're right. And I don't, I don't know why, again, I think it's been this painted picture. But that not we, like it is now. Yeah. That, that we, we don't like people. We, we want to be mean. We're just mean. 
and Democrats we're fascists. Are, are nice. Yes, which is exactly what we're not. Um, I just feel the way that this is, uh, you've lost a lot of your audience or your potential audience from the damage that this has done. And I don't know if people are going to come back or have a second chance. I don't know if people will come back to sports or come back to musical artists or come back to something once they felt they've been not betrayed, but they've got a bad taste in their mouth. Yeah. And the, and what's a hit show now? A couple of million people? Yeah. yeah. But I guess it's so, it's so fractured now. But they're still making money. Yeah. So I guess I guess they don't... I guess it's just... It's just push it, push it, push Look, it. They have... They're in control, and they're getting... And they want to bring their viewpoint in, and I think they've changed the way entertainment is. But there's, but it's interesting that Gutfeld is the number one rated show... Yeah. And well, he's the whole conservative. Network, Fox is right, and everybody. it tells you there's an audience that isn't being served. Look at Tim Allen. Yeah, yeah. And he it, was a big it, conservative on the show, but he had the other viewpoint. It was great. Yeah, but he didn't even preach or no. say that. See, in his show, he didn't say that all liberals are assholes and they're terrible people. He just had a, a more conservative viewpoint. But the liberals basically say we're assholes and we're crazy. And, and say it on, in, in, yeah, they, in, in, in award shows. They don't even give us 20% equal. They, we're just complete monsters, and they are the only ones right. But and, I don't think it's ever going to, entertainment is ever going to shift right. <clears throat> it might come back closer to the middle, but uh, it's always been even when politics have, have been uh, 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 want, conservative that it's it's always lean the other way well, so gonna that's have to just get the their nature own, of the business they're going to have to get their own networks and that's what's happening now you know they're, they're everything is it's more everything is splitting and splitting right. and everybody's yeah, get tribal and yeah. all that unless unless some show that's non-political comes on as a giant hit you know gets 15 million people watching and it would it. I know, it would because you get both ends they, right. they don't even seem to care if they cut off half the country they really don't because they think that half the country are morons. Are rubes. And, yeah, and, I agree. And they, we don't care about it. I agree. So do a show where you're just appealing to Ro the world. Roseanne Barr, remember that whole thing? No. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, that's a touchy one because what she said was, and I, and I believe her. She didn't know that woman. She didn't know Valerie Jarrett was black. I didn't know she was I black. I didn't know she was black either. My hand to God, I did not know she was black. Uh, so, but uh, Planet you know, of the Apes, she meant... This is a crazy upside down world. That's what it, they're the ones that made the apes be become racist. It's like I'm going, okay, wait a minute. You just brought in something that we never even thought of when we said Planet of the Apes. It's almost like they're self fulfilling prophecies. They they're going, oh well, a monkey. Oh, you must be talking about black people. No, we're talking about monkeys. We we're talking about Planet of the Apes. And you know, I, I'm not saying this is going on. I'm just talking now. But no, it's good but, to go know. on. I don't think it's fine. So I'm pretty much the racist. In the no, I, Mark. I but, listen. But that's that's the way. she. You know, she came out and said I didn't know it. So why can't you give her the benefit of the doubt? Because she's a conservative. The, yes, they wanted to and cancel if, her. And they used it if as it was the excuse. other way around. Oh, the liberals get a pass. Oh, they've been forgiven so many times. I know. So many uh, uh, that, that girl uh, Messing on um, Deborah Messing. She actually said. Nobody should work with a conservative. They should lose their jobs. They should not be allowed to work right. in this industry. And I got to give, I rarely thought I would ever give Whoopi Goldberg credit. She was on The View. Yes, I watched The View. And she actually said, this is what they did to us in the blacklist in the 50s. How dare you say but someone Mark, should work. But they're doing it anyway. I know they are, but I'm saying Whoopi at least said, you shouldn't, because of somebody's political belief, talk to them, discuss it. Don't fire them, don't not them, let them work, but the industry does. If, you go, if I went on The View, Joy Behar would walk off the show. She would. She wouldn't even talk and to you. And she doesn't even know me. Right, and you're a nice guy. You, you'd be but that's the point. I, I would listen to her. Yes, you I would. Think she, I think she's got the wrong ideas about everything, but she won't listen to me. I'm the devil. Yeah. And, and conservatives are the devil. It's, it's and, and, and they're all sitting there making millions of dollars, mm -hmm. yeah. all of them. And they won't give up a f***ing, excuse me, they won't give up a nickel more to the government for their beliefs. They won't do it. Yeah. Excuse my language. I won't say and, that again. And, and, and yes, and... Um, Even, we talked about this the other day. I don't know where Spielberg is politically, but he did Saving Private Ryan. That's probably one of the most pro-American movies yeah. I think I've ever seen. And he's a big liberal. 
and liberals don't like military. They don't like the country as is, and and which, which gave and, them everything. I know, they have. and and I can't, I can't. Well, I do. I, know I just can't square that. When you're that wealthy, you can afford to be liberal because nothing affects what you. you mean, what do you mean? What do you mean afford to be liberal? Well, you have your own security. But Mark, he your, made you know, that movie. That was his vision. I don't. I don't know why he he. But you I should know, be allowed to yeah, yeah, I, I, make. I, I, I mean. That's the way it should be. You should be able to believe whatever you want and make a, a movie that is true or accurate to a story or isn't sending a message that yeah. uh, is... Look, well, if you want to do something in school, I said this before, next time I see Mel Gibson, if I ever see him again, I'm going to tell him, I, I, what I, you know, you a power, you're a powerful guy. I would love you to go to schools, bring Hacksaw Ridge, mm -hmm. and make the students watch that movie. Also, take the first 15 minutes of Saving Private Ryan and make kids watch that movie. Because then you, to see it mm -hmm. is, is, you know, people don't think any of that happened. Yeah. And uh, to me... It's almost a history lesson. It's, if you it, do that. Well, yeah, that's what Saving Private... Yeah, that's what Hexel Ridge is. One guy, one guy. It's a one guy movie and it's a brilliant movie. Hexel Ridge? Hexel, it's a great yeah, he movie. Was an anti, he wouldn't even carry a gun. He was, he was a yeah. seven-day Adventist. I yeah. think that's what it was. Yes. And, and, but it wasn't, not only, the, not only his story, the story of what these, sorry, men did. These men did this. These men died. These, and these men were willing to go and die. Mm -hmm. And some of them still are. You know, I was on the uh, Carl Vinson, the, the aircraft carrier, and these young kids willing to die for their country. And nobody, and, the, and a lot of the left doesn't give a shit about them. Hmm. And that, that bothers me. And it really does. You know, there's also something else about <clears throat> show business. There are a lot of conservative people who don't say it, will never talk about the it. The people that don't say the, it are the conservatives. Yes, yeah. but that shows you that the, the, <clears throat> they've set a fear factor that yeah. they, they can say whatever they want, as liberals they want, we are not allowed to speak right. because you'll lose your job or you won't find work in the industry. So people who are conservative... Or have just different beliefs, literally have to be quiet, and that's so sad because our country was founded right. on freedom of speech, right. expression, talk to people, and it's very sad what happened. And that's why I said, if I, I was I was pro Trump, and if I never work again, I'm fine. I can I'll deal with it. And I was right, right. I it's very hard to hire me, very hard. Which is and, sad. And, it's sad I mean, and it's I mean, hard, I mean, it's, and, but it's but it's, but I but I made I made yeah. the choice because I I thought what was best not for me, I thought what was best for my daughter and for yeah. the country. So, anyway, we we beat this one up. Did you? Is it Carl Vincent where he landed? Yeah. On backwards. And yeah. Scared the crap oh, out my of you? oh my That's god. Oh my god. That's an interesting story. So I get invited on the Carl Vincent. It's an aircraft carrier, in the middle of the uh, uh, of the Pacific, and they're gonna they're gonna take us on. And we're going to tail hook. So they put us on a transport plane. And the plane is not a plane like you, you know. It's a tube with hard metal chairs, no windows. You have all the gear on. You're facing backwards. And there's, there was 12 or 15 of us. And the, the person that's, our, I guess, our chaperone says, when I go like this, we're going to hook. And I, okay, I was a buddy of mine with, with Johnny. And the guy goes like this. Oh, Jesus! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! I thought my ass was going to come through my mouth. I swear to God. And it, it was the... The way he the, stopped the, me? George, I've never felt anything like that in my life. And wow. I'll never do it again. Wow. And then we stayed on the boat overnight. We watched all the flight ops. It was amazing. These people wow. were amazing. Young people. And then we had a catapult off. <laughs> and I, which was a little bit better than, than, wow. uh, than landing. But God, these, and these guys go up, down, wow. up, down. I got to hang so out with the pilots. So we still have a free country where. And these guys exist. are protecting these lunatics and who they, hate it. Yeah. Anyway. And hate them. God bless America. Yes. You see up my nose with the <laughs>